Back on Rangers game night back in August, the National Hockey League had what they called a research and development camp. And presiding over that conversation was former Ranger Brendan Shanahan, who's over in the skybox with Joe Micheletti and Dave Maloney. Guys, take it away. Okay, Al, thanks very much. Uh, it's great to have Brendan here. 21 years in, as a player in the National Hockey League, and now it's been uh, less than two years since you played. Talk a little bit about your transition from being a player and now looking at the game from this perspective and uh, and, and what you've seen and, and how your perspective maybe has changed, if at all. Well, I feel really lucky to be involved in the game. Obviously, like you said, I, I, I put a lot of years uh, committed to the game and then to uh, retire and, and not feel that gap and void. I mean, certainly we all kid around us retired players. We say there's most fun job in hockey is playing hockey. But, uh, you know, there are days uh, I wake up and, you know, I... I don't. I haven't lost a tooth since I've uh, retired. I haven't had stitches since I've retired. So uh, I call those pros. Those are those are definitely uh, those are good things. But playing was the most fun for sure. Well, listen, uh, Brendan. You know, uh, in the lockout year, you were quite involved in issues that went to the game and beyond the game. And this past summer, you were quite involved in a, a development camp and research camp. How did that evolve? And and how did you think it went? Well, I mean, my, my, my issue is I don't like not being busy, so right. I, I enjoy that, and that's why I got involved during the lockout and, and uh, wanted to do something for the game. So Gary uh, Batman approached me, and he thought it was a natural fit to some of the owners have been wanting to do research and development for right. years now. And the fact that our game is in such a strong place, and we really don't have, uh, uh, we, we really said to people, we're not looking to make any rule changes and a lot of people said the game is going great it maybe has never been better why are you guys looking at rule changes right. and I said you know when a company has a top year uh, gross grossing top numbers they still do research and development so this was purely an education for us so that we don't wait till something is broken before we try to fix it you. but during that uh, during that camp there were so many different areas that you looked at whether it would be face-offs protecting the goaltender overtime was there anything that that uh, when you looked at it, just kind of said, whoa, wait a second, that's, you know, that's pretty good. That's something that we should continue uh, to take a look at. Well, yeah, we, we went with the direction from the general managers, and they said, they spoke about things like that, uh, the integrity of face-offs. And again, they said, we really love the game. We like where it's at. Here are some things we want you to check out. Who knows in the future we might have to look at it. Uh, we tried a little bit of three-on-three -three hockey. There's been some talk of that. That's something that really jumped out at everybody as being entertaining. Nobody really liked the two-on-two. -two. And again, we, you know, we said this is as much ab about seeing what interests us and what could potentially years down the road have a future as it was seeing what didn't work and let's stop wasting time talking about it and let's put it away. So it sounds like there may be some things still in the work, Brandon. So will this be an ongoing thing, do you think? I, or? I think so because, you know, it's not enough to just do one year of testing. Right. I mean, we're going to change the test subjects. The other, the other aspect of the camp was there was a scouting opportunity for teams because we use the top-rated North American 17-year-old players that are all eligible for this year's draft. And it's very rare that they're ever on the ice all at once. So this is a great opportunity for them. Uh, next summer we're going to do it again, change the test subjects, get a whole bunch of other 17-year-olds in and give them a two days great experience and give us a lot of valuable information that one day uh, we may use. So you think there's any room for a couple 50 year olds in the camp? <laughs> Game's all about youth now. <laughs> <laughs> you know one thing that you were heavily involved with that uh, that was a rule change was the uh, the headshot situation because we've seen some uh, some pretty vicious things in the last couple of years. How do you think it's working this year and what's your what are your thoughts on uh, on how that uh, has evolved over the last couple of years and how it's working this year well for you know protection? you know this wasn't like motivated by the league this was motivated by by the general managers and the players this is not something that colin campbell decided he wanted to do the players spoke to us the manager spoke to us the owner said enough's enough so we got together and we put in a rule. I think it's going to be an adjustment period, similar to when we changed the rules for hooking and holding. There was an adjustment year. I think the players are starting to get uh, their heads around it, and I think that they're starting to get used to it. And I think that um, as we move along, it's going to get smoother and smoother. What we don't ever see, and we talked about this before we went on the air, um, we've had a few occasions where players have laid those hits, but what we haven't seen, and it's hard to sort of uh, measure are the players right. that have passed up those hits right. and uh, that's happening so there are there are concussions that we are avoiding already so do you like the game Brandon as an observer on the side do you like I the love game? the game right. I think the game is great I, I quite honestly I really wouldn't want to change anything um, you know I sometimes get defensive because I'm 
you know, I was a big part of the research and development camp, and I, I say to people, this isn't because we think the game is broken, um, but I think the game is, it's a great time to study our game right now because it is so good. We've got so many good young players coming up through the ranks. Uh, there's a lot of optimism in the NHL, and for people who are becoming NHL fans, new NHL fans, uh, it's a great time. Cool. Would you rather be playing, or would you like to be playing again in this style? Because it's different. I mean, 21 years, you right. came up when there was a lot of different, you know, the style was a lot different, tougher in a lot of cases. Now it's a little bit more open. I mean, would you, uh, what do you think you'd enjoy more? Playing or doing what I'm doing now? Let's, yeah. No, no, no. What, what would all three <laughs> of us now be doing? Playing years ago. What, <laughs> what would we think that about? What, what yeah. would all three of us? Right. No, people say, do you, do you miss playing? I said, well, I, I miss being like 30 and playing. I don't know right. if I miss being 40 and playing so much, but um, it is the best job, and it's great. And it's nice again to uh, step away and very quickly uh, become an instant fan of it again as a spectator. And uh, the other thing that's really important, we, we figured out the most <clears throat> important part, I think the hardest part of any sport. We have the best players and we have the best game. The rest of it uh, is all going to come to us and it's sort of fun making that all happen. Well, well keep up the good work. Yeah. We're, Thanks for coming by. We're, we're, ha <laughs> we're happy that you're, uh, that you're with the league and, and helping out. It's great to see you. Thanks, Thanks for your guys. time. Thanks for okay. being here. Al